have a real cowboy vacation, I decided to start it off here in Calgary, Alberta, which is famous for its stampede. The Calgary Stampede is called the greatest outdoor show on earth, and the reason is the rodeo. This is where real cowboys get to show their stuff. There's lots to do at this 11-day festival, but one of the real highlights for me was getting a kiss from a visiting American. He likes to give ladies kisses. He shakes hands with the men. May we give you a kiss? <laughs> now that I've had a taste of Western hospitality, I wanted more. I've always wondered what it would be like to live the cowboy lifestyle, and now it's my chance. Here at the Home Place Ranch in southern Alberta, just an hour away from Calgary, I'm going to find out what it takes to be a real cowgirl. I'm having the ultimate cowboy vacation. Mac McKinney has been in the horse business for four generations. His great-grandfather moved to Alberta from Nebraska in 1902. About a third of our business is Canadian, a third is American, and a third is European. And they come here to get a flavor of what it used to be like. And it's why all these old buildings that we have here have been maintained. We start with an awareness program that teaches us how to communicate with the horses. So Brandy, what I'd like you to do now is just work your way through all these loose horses here and decide upon the feelings that you get from them. Hi, buddy. Want to smell me? He doesn't like me. <laughs> like he's big. It's it's very intimidating. See, oh oh, is this okay? Yeah. So I just touch him like that, gentle. Mm -hmm. This is difficult. I don't know if you like me. She seems pretty relaxed, which is uh, great. She seems to like me. We'll see how she goes. The horse is like a mirror. Doesn't understand the words that you say. He understands what's in your heart and what's in your feeling. If you're concerned about something else in your life, he will be aware of that. But we're not ready yet for the real thing. First, Mac introduces us to Woody, where we learn how to stop, go, and turn on a horse. Lift, look. Now it's time to get out on the trail. Yeah. This is pretty easy so far. <laughs> So I'm not allowed to let him eat grass, right? No, you're so not going to let him eat grass. What do I do? I pull it. And I say, Mr. Yeah. No. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. No. Mrs. No. Come on, stop eating grass and move, please. Come on, Tundra, this way. Oh, she's going the wrong way. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. She's just, she's hungry. She's at the buffet table. Am I supposed to be pulling in the direction? Uh, no. I don't know what's going on here. I'm hitting the, hold on, hold on. You doing okay? Everything's great. Good. Having, she's doing very well. She stopped eating grass all the time. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and um, I learned a lot about myself and uh, probably more about myself than I did about Tundra. I have to be more assertive and I have to um, know that I'm the one in control and not the horse. Traditionally, tourists spent about a week at Mac McKinney's ranch, but the trend is changing now. People come for four days and pay about $866. If you're more of a hands-on traveler, you can also try their work and play holiday, where you stay as a guest for a week, and the second week, you work on the ranch. 